Today, I'm really excited because we're gonna make one of my favorite Bulgarian summertime recipes. But if we're gonna do it right, we need a Bulgarian food authority, my wife. Hey, Desi, come to the kitchen. Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> Tell the lovely people what we're making today. We're making tarator. And what is that? It's a yogurt and cucumber soup. There's no cooking involved. It's so refreshing. It's perfect for the summer. And it's even more fun because you're doing all the cooking today and I'm just looking pretty. <laughs> and before we continue on, I'm really excited because this video is a collaboration with Emmy Made in Japan. She's not only a friend of ours, but she is a YouTube rock star with over 500,000 subs. If you click over to her channel at the end of this video, you can check out Emmy eating some Bulgarian delights courtesy of Desi. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. She is awesome. And while you're at it, why don't you click that subscribe button below. We are rocking out new cooking videos every week and you know you wanna be a part of them. In the bowl, I have a cup of Greek style yogurt. I want it to be Greek because it's tangy and thick and it's perfect for this soup. Next, one clove of garlic. I love using the microplane zester for this. Yeah, it's perfect because that way you're not gonna bite into a big chunk of garlic when you're eating the soup. This soup, like you said, is perfect for the summer and it pretty much saved my life and probably yours because we went to Bulgaria two summers ago and it was 100 degrees heat every day for two weeks, no air conditioning, so nobody wanted to cook. We were eating this pretty much breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and this pretty much got me through the summer of heat. A little bit of salt. What I love about this recipe is that it's so quick. There's no cooking. It's dump, stir, season, taste. I just added a little bit of uh, olive oil. Okay, about one tablespoon? About one tablespoon. Okay, what's next? And uh, now it's a good time to mix everything together. All right. What's the history of this dish? Because I know it goes back a long way. That's a dish that's been passed on to Bulgaria uh, from Turkish cuisine. Cool. And if you don't know, Greek yogurt is a staple on the Bulgarian table. And the Greek yogurt that everybody loves across the world has a bacteria that's from Bulgaria. So when you're spooning that Greek yogurt in your pie hole in the morning, it's from Bulgaria. Next, we want to add a cup of uh, cold water. It's important that it's cold because we want the soup to be cold as well. You want a soup-like consistency. You may or may not need more water. Look how sweet this is. I'm just sitting here talking, you're stirring, you're whisking. Well, I'm gonna put you to work now. Why don't you start peeling this cucumber? So we only need half a cucumber. Excellent, I'm using an English style cucumber so there's no seeds in there. That saves us some time. You need to cut the cucumber in very small cubes. Now, if you want it to be lazy, couldn't you just take a box grater and kind of just grate it and make it go a lot quicker here? You could absolutely grate the cucumber, but you're gonna end up with a very mushy consistency and uh, it's not gonna be very pleasant when you're eating the soup. Gotcha, so if you want to be super lazy on a super hot day, Grate it, but if you want that extra pop, that crunch is what you're saying, cut yes. it into fine pieces, take a few extra minutes, and don't be a lazy butt. I've never seen a finer manicure dicing cucumbers up before. And the cucumber is a great summer vegetable. It's so refreshing, it's moist. <laughs> cucumbers are moist and refreshing. You can use the peel yes. to put some on your skin. Oh man, I could feel the antioxidants. They're so nice. Do I look 10 years younger? The yogurt soup is almost ready. How easy was that? We're not quite done yet. What's next, Babo? There are just a few more ingredients. Okay. All right, how much dill? Just a tablespoon will do. That's about two tablespoons, but no one's gonna get hurt. And then while I'm doing that, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna chop up some uh, walnuts. Okay. They're also very traditional in this soup, and they give the soup that much needed texture. Ah, okay. texture is key. I see you've been learning, young Jedi. Yes. <laughs> And you just need a handful of walnuts, that's it. So we got the dill and the walnuts in. Okay. All we need to do is just stir it and the soup is done. Let's check for seasoning first. Oh, so cold and refreshing. But I'm gonna hit it with a little pinch of salt. So I think that brings the total to about a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt. It's one of those dishes where less is more and just the flavors of everything you put in just shine so much. All right, so Desi is gonna pour us up a couple portions here, get a cold drink to go with it. Check out the recipe below, pin it, eat it, like it, share it, and make sure you click and check out Emmy's channel. She is eating some delicious Bulgarian delights courtesy of the beautiful Desi. And we'll see you in a week with another brand new cooking video. Stay cool, my friends. Thanks, babe. See ya.